Hi, this is Laura from Welcome Home Leasing, and I'm here to give you a look at 13800 Cibolo Trace. It's at the Presidio Station Condos, Northwest Austin, near 45 and 183. So each unit, they are condominiums, which means they're in an HOA. And each unit is a freestanding house. Just past that last building, um, that's where the pool is. And then there's uh, a group of guest parking places by the pool and another group of guest parking places there where that white SUV is. And there's some walking trails. So it has a two car garage. I've left the door open because got somebody showing up in a minute. The front door is eight feet tall. It's got some really cool obscured glass. I'm not sure if that's really easy to tell. And then you have the beautiful block limestone exterior. Okay, coming inside, we have 10 foot ceilings, bull nose corners. This was built by David Weekly, by the way. They are a quality home builder. Recessed lighting all over the place. Um, this is a coat closet that my client had customized so you can put all your shoes right there when you come in the door. The next door is your downstairs half bath. The flooring is the rigid vinyl plank, the luxury vinyl planking. It's super easy to sweep and mop. So you have the elongated toilets and a fixed window. Okay, then you have your storage under the stairs. It's a great place for suitcases and such. You can even fit a bike in there. This is the garage. Two car garage, we're actually getting a new garage door because somebody backed into this one. <laughs> There's a garage door opener. And coming in to your main common area. It's just windows, windows, windows across the back. Those are your two inch faux wood blinds. There's plenty of room for a large dining table over there. You also have a big breakfast bar and a very big island. Lots of room for preparing meals. Nice appliances come with. Um, here's your pantry closet. Lots of room in there. The fridge has a filtered water system, a door dispenser. That's your freezer side. And your fridge side, glass shelving. And lots of space on the doors. Um, okay. You have white quartz counters. And your easy clothes. Drawers, lots of drawers. Here's your dishwasher, under cabinet lighting. Cool backsplash tile, nice five burner gas 
stove, built-in microwave, your shaker-style cabinets. It was built in 2018, so everything still, you know, feels pretty new. There's your dishwasher. It's Whirlpool. All the appliances are Whirlpool. So, there's another look at the kitchen. And down that entry hall, open staircase, dining area. You have a full light, eight foot back door. There's your living room. You have a nice big wall for a flat screen TV. And there is a fenced outdoor space. Part of it is patio. Some sage bushes. Those will bloom with a purple flower. We can take a dog. Oh, it has a um, tankless water heater, which uh, is a good savings on your gas bill. It's gas. Here's the outside of the building. Privacy fence on both sides. And that's a, hmm, I think that's a trumpet vine. That should bloom with orange flowers. Pretty nice. You have a gate on both sides. Okay. Nice ceiling fans. Recessed lighting. The kitchen again. Okay, let's go upstairs. All the bedrooms are upstairs. I believe it's just under 1,800 square feet. Three bedroom, two and a half bath. It does have an attic pull down ladder. We have a little pole with a hook, and you grab that hook. And pull it down and it's a ladder so you can get up in the attic this is the first bedroom it's the smallest one it's not that small though it's actually a pretty good size and two big windows and two closets Nope, one closet goes all the way across the width of the room. All your interior doors are six panel. This would be your common bath upstairs. It's got the cultured marble countertop. There's a separate room. Our tile on the floors and your tile tub enclosure and elongated toilet and that's cute light fixtures and then this is your second bedroom this is a big room this is like 18 by 12 maybe I'm guessing, haven't measured it. Two big windows in here. And double door closet. So this is your second bedroom. Opening to the hall. Let's get another look at the whole room. So that, that one's a pretty big bedroom. Definitely 
quite a bit bigger than the first one, which isn't very small, really. It's a pretty medium-sized room. Here's the laundry room. Comes with the washer and dryer. Hard tile on the floor. Cabinets up above. It's got a vent fan. Your hallway is open to the stairs. It makes it feel a little roomier. And then this would be the primary bedroom. Now this is a nice big room. It's um, pretty square. I'm gonna guess 15 by 15, maybe 16 by 15. You got three big windows and same ceiling fan as downstairs. In your bathroom, it's got a nice hard tile floor, frameless glass shower enclosure. It's nice and big. Super cute tile on the floor in there and gray subway tile on the walls. The fixed window, two fixed windows in this bathroom. So it gets good natural light. Really nice, big, deep garden tub. You can really get your Epsom salt bath on in there with the Roman faucet. And then your double vanity, it's cabinets and drawers, the undermount rectangular sink, same fixtures are through the house in the other bathrooms. In this one is the toilet and hidey hole. It's another elongated toilet. This one is linens. And finally, the walk-in closet. Oh, thank you. They did high and low rods instead of just one rod which I always think is a waste of space. High and low rods over here and built-in shelves. That's one, two, three, four, five, six shelves and shelves on top of all the bars. So this closet is very nicely detailed. I, I really like that. Another look at your bathroom. It's a great bathroom. It's like as big as the middle size bedroom. Primary bedroom. Once again, your high ceilings are throughout. And there's the laundry room. Okay. So that's the show take one more look at the kitchen and living areas okay so my number is 512-554-2920 our application process is all online so you can call you can text if you have any questions Alrighty, thanks for watching.